Esther level up on one of their heroes, how much damage do you think they get? How much damage is this team accumulating every 100? single level? A hundred damage? You think they're getting? You think they're getting a hundred damage every time oh, no, the team levels every up? Every hero is getting seven or eight, so forty. Forty. Okay. Well, every hero it says like Mag gets four point seven. I'm I'm doing the maths here, so so buy me a little bit of time, would you? Why are you doing the math now? <laughs> what do you mean now? What do you think I have all this memorized? <laughs> you were the one who couldn't look at the two numbers earlier and say that one was bigger than the other. <laughs> So I don't want to hear it from you, all right? <laughs> I'm so Instead, sorry, man. I'm so I do want sorry. To hear from this time, no big old fight for first blood. Taiga oh. is going to be forced to take that, that first close. dive. But Monet also takes Aether Remnant level one here on the Void Spirit carry. That's not too bad for carry. Can use it to secure the range creep. That's true. It looks like they're, they're maybe going to try and... First blood. Aggressive here as well for first blood. I'm not too sure how successful it'll be considering OG have that cliff ward down. How Instead, many blood grenades are going to be used? Tell me right now. Uh, four. <laughs> four. Four. There's only three in this lane. So how is it? Yeah, yeah. I think someone's going to buy another one for sure. They're too good, man. These little items, you know? They're moving slow. Oh, they're, they're double kill. Time. Yeah. I mean, that will feel really good as well against DM early on. Remnant does catch Seb, securing Monet the ruin. Nice moves out from him. I'm most curious though about this mid lane, right? The Snapfire into Templar Assassin. I just think Sumail's gonna have an easy time securing root, uh, last hits, but does have to eventually be careful of this side blade spill damage that'll start ramping up. Just because I just don't really think you get through refraction too easily. You're just dam your damage output is big, but in chunks here for Sumail. Of course, when kisses come up, that's a whole different story, but... I mean, I feel you like you don't really care about that. Your job as the snap this game is just to get levels, control the ruin, and rotate. Help your yep. lanes, help the other cores, get kills. I feel like uh, winning the lane is not his concern. You're, you're just trying to 50-50 the lane. I do want to see some rotations, though, like you're talking about. Um, that's always whenever uh, what is it, C Smile over ends up playing. Uh, the snap fire man he he tps man he just tps to other lanes and he just gets boost of travel and he flies around yeah and i think that's the best way you know you're gonna get that solo experience you gotta make take a uh, good advantage of it here this taiga of course the, the mines are real annoying because they apply the slow as well they have two slows so even if you do spell the first one the second one also still slows you which makes trading against this and the, the aphotic shield of yuragi not actually the most yeah. effective thing tell me techniques. tell me why does it does so much <laughs> I don't know why it needs to be too slow. I feel like you dispel one, you can dispel both, but apparently not. As you can see, like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's wild, isn't uh, it? That's bullshit, man. I call that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy has, what, 700 attack range or something? <laughs> 60. Uh, yes. Yeah, actually, good call. Good call. 700 on the dot. One of the higher ones is by default. Highest too. ones. Uh, he might be up there. Because I know you... Lena. If you count the base stats, you know. Yeah, not, it's like not Lina, anything AA. extra. Who else has got a really high Oracle has a pretty high attack range above average. Eh, a, little, a good piece of trivia there, Winter, for the fans, of course. So I mean the early game is gonna be more about like just like uh, lane control, like looking at the heroes. Probably gonna be quite a quiet side uh, side lane, early laning phase. Like the Abaddon and, like and the Phoenix, they both can escape. Uh, they both can use the shield to get out of uh, sticky situations. It's pretty hard for them to get kills in this lane and bot lane as well. Shadow Demon and the Bat <laughs> against a Void Spirit, which can just uh, tank and trade with the Resonant Pulse. And get basically every single CS as well because yeah. he's got ridiculous damage. I mean, DM starting to fall a little bit behind in this lane, but. I think it's kind of to be expected. With the ring of health up, I think DM's going to have a bit of an easier time. You know, ranged hero, so he doesn't have that damage block. Uh, anytime he do is forced to trade, it's going to be yeah. basically at a loss. I mean, this is why uh, Barrider is preferred as a support now. Because he's top. We we Blast off. Oh, they have the kill. Nice job there, but Boca collects the kill onto Taiga. Ended up uh, getting him back and finding the kill. 
Baboka chasing after. Nice little disarm. The slow under Yuragi. Baboka makes it uphill. That's secondary slow. Not good enough, but Yuragi had to go pretty far for the kill. Yeah, and the Magnus is just last hitting. You know, XXS is happy. Denying creeps, last hitting yep. creeps. Getting Red the wave back, back to his tower. And meanwhile, uh, Sumil? Oh, the TP to refill his bottle? Oh no, he just walked over. I mean, it's, it's kind of a ridiculous difference in this lane as well. I mean, I know the ABBA's got a Photic Shield to play with, right? That dispel's pretty big. Oh, BZM in trouble. No, that he is, and he's just dead. And the Boboka and Sumil connection. Who needs to know how to speak Mandarin? <sighs> yeah, especially when Boboka just comes flying in from off screen. It's pretty clear who the target's going to be each and every time. Big kill in that mid lane. As oh there's oh no way XSS ske skewers your eye you up to that cliff I didn't even know you could do that what a sneaky little move on that little tiny cliff yeah I didn't know you can actually go there <laughs> so you can blink over to that hill <laughs> I guess so I mean you gotta break the tree though right there's a tree on that hill ah uh, yeah that's true but skewer breaks trees I mean is that that's a hilarious good, I mean is that a good wall spot. Uh, no, it's not a good ward spot. If you want to ward, you ward on the high ground and then you cut that tree. And then you get like vision of this ah. entire area here. Yeah. Warding 101, seek and strike. Yeah. I got you wards, man. And you can do the same ward as well on Dire Side. Sometimes it's good if you're like losing the lane and you expect them to try and steal your wisdom. It's good to put the rune there because you'll scout on that little bridge. And then you can usually get your mid to rotate over it and punish and then kind of yeah. stabilize things a bit. No excuse. No excuse not to come and Yuragi getting skewered. But he's a bad yeah. end, so he has shield. He's uh, fine. He isn't a bad end. Has the wand still. As he is actually going for this Radiance, huh? Yeah. Get the Lotus standard. first. Pick up the Lotus. Boboka gives chase, doesn't connect. <laughs> Getting up like a spooked cat, but... I mean, what else a... do you go for if you, you don't like the Radiance? I don't think he can go uh, for anything else if he doesn't buy Radiance. Yeah, I, I used to see, back in the day, you'd see the Manta Elm? Shard. But Seb dies in the mid lane. They're going to really try and give the kill <laughs> to Sumail with the DD rune active, but uh, Plague Wards are going to still find him. Oh, he's getting the Raw of Athos. He's not getting Travels first. Interesting. Yeah, Raw of Athos is very good on Universal Heroes because you get a lot yeah, of damage from it. It's great that it's a super efficient item, like bang for your buck. Is it more efficient cost wise uh, compared to Manta? In terms uh, of I believe it is. I remember Slash Strike made a really good Reddit post about Radiant's this, and I was shocked seen. about how much damage that uh, Rod of Atos gave, but I, I can't quite remember if it was more efficient. Uh, rune time here for the Wisdoms, and it is going to be Aster trying to contest. Oh. Taiga jumping uh. on over, cannot get the kill. Now he no longer has his escape. Uh, no way out for him. Emperor Sumail, Sumail. Even TP's on over. My here kill. He is. Going for the kill. Okay, you can go really far off the map now as a Phoenix. He'll come back, of course. Uh, <laughs> question is, can they find him? Oh. Uh, no way. I mean, actually, he doesn't have TP, Winter. It's better not to kill him, actually. <laughs> is he cliffed? Radiant's I don't know if he's stuck here. <laughs> Maybe he should just go into the base and die Maybe. to the shh, tower. Shh, shh. Oh, no, he can get out. All right. And he captures the, the, the Watcher. He's cool. What is Corgir doing all the way out here? Giving, what a him trek. A, giving him a TP. No. Yes. He's, oh, it did? Yeah, it just walked him. All right, didn't end up mattering, honestly. Aster, though, bringing bodies. They're going to try and get a kill. Top lane, RP committed onto Yuragi. He's just shy of level 6 here, Winter. It's a level 3 Aphotic Shield. As Mane jumps on through. And we'll be able to get the kill here. Taiga just uh, not able to get over fast enough. And honestly, I don't... Yeah, he's going to be scouted now from behind, but the rest of Aster <laughs> They're like, just... what the hell? The Phoenix is still here? <laughs> <laughs> They're all probably a bit surprised. Uh, nice dive away. Roshan aggro. Taiga once again. His planet needs him. He's going off, and away he goes. But this should be top tower going down. And, and you know, one thing that is real good about this all universal lineup is they do tons of right click damage, even more so within power. This tower is so getting that shredded. Mean... Pagna is the counter to the Universal Heroes? I don't think so. <laughs> DM in the meantime, he's gotten a, a nice big stack. Uh, he will clear that out in the triangle. That's his full vanguard. And uh, even now, his next couple items coming along. I think he's going for drums with that wind lace. We'll see what he queues up with that. 
a success as well, having much success in this top lane. Vanguard looks like he's going to go into this Echo Saber into Blink. I've seen a lot of offlane mags, <clears throat> excuse me, Winter, prefer this kind of uh, a buildup over like the mid rush for a Harpoon. Um, so it seems like this Blink Dagger is highly valued. Then again, <sighs> ABBA is so good against these classic like big AoE ulti heroes. Because unless you silence him, he can just always activate the ultimate and then immediately save someone else. The classic example is like, if you ever blink Ravage, uh, you know, uh, an, an ABBA, he just ultis himself and saves someone else from the stun. So they really have to get this to work quite effectively to stop the ABBA from just saving himself and saving anyone else. You need two items, Silver Edge and Orchid. Yep. It's going to take a while to farm. <laughs> Just Silver Edge, or just Orchid might be enough, honestly. Yeah, but I think... he normally gets a uh, Manta nowadays if he's going That's Radiant. That's a good point. Yeah. So it's not even that reliable. That ends up being uh, pretty annoying here. Sumail has two runes active now. He's got Shield Rune and a, a Bottle to Arcane. I don't think Radiant's he's going to be able to do too much with this, but he's going to go back now for the BOTs, Winter. He's happy with the two crowns. The Emperor, of course, gets two. Yeah, crown, crown gives you, what, uh, 7 damage? 8? Like, it's uh, a huge chunk of damage on Universal yeah. Heroes. I, I, so I, I remember when I'm playing my lane, I'm laning against, like, I think it was Klinks. He buys a crown, he comes like, what the hell? Like, he, he's hitting me, I'm like, why is it so painful? Yeah, especially if those the tar bomb. Taiga might be in for a bit of pain. If they choose to chase after him, Shockwave connects into the skewer. RP even committed to stop him from sunraying away. That's going to be a kill there onto the Phoenix. Did not get the chance. I suppose they didn't want him to supernova. Fair enough. But it's Yuragi who's just clearing waves after wave in the mid lane. He's making a lot of space now for BZM to build as, you know, the classic carry, the right clicker. And DM's coming along very nicely for his items. He's nearly at his Octarine core already. I'd say, like, the only one who feels like they've yet to be truly activated is, is probably still Monet. Oh, Sumail letting the kisses go, but... Not, I'm not actually sure what he, what he kissed there. I think he just cleared the camp, honestly. Uh, he has Arcane Rune, and that's nothing to do. He just wants to use the Aldi. Sure. It was shorter cooldown anyway, why not? <laughs> yeah, going back to your point about like uh the bat getting an Octarine call. I feel like the bat riders roll this game I think he needs to buy like uh team team items. Like Crimson's good this game. Pipe's good this game. Because nobody else is gonna be able to afford it, I feel. The so especially the supports, because the other two calls are definitely not going to buy all these team items. Baboka. up. a bit of a slow game here, but uh, for him, even still a slow death with the reactive taser. BZM forced to watch for a while, uh, but eventually OG able to clear through the techies. Everyone's like, just kind of getting farm where they can, Winter. Yeah, and back to what I was saying, like... Uh, that's when I look at like OG's lineup, I think you want to get into a point where you, you, you can group up as a ball with your Radiance on Abba and you have a Phoenix Egg behind you and he's being gone on again. And now oh, there's yeah, the there Egg. There's the Egg and TP's as well. Oh, hey. There's haste. the kill on to Siamese Cat as XXS has no skewer here for five more seconds. They're giving chase here really hard as well. Taiga reaching here, connecting just barely on that flame break as, oh, once again, does not miss on any of those fire spirits. BZM collecting the kill. But a nice reaction there from Taiga as he's able to turn that around. Yeah, and style points for BZM as well. He's using the traps. He's hitting his own traps to get uh, the side blade spill. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what a gamer. God gamer, you know? God gamer. It is Aster, though, who's still finding an objective. They will lose a, a core and a support in that top lane skirmish. They still pick up the tower in, in favor of themselves. And yeah, Sumail now huge. is going to go back for that Rod of Atos. But were you finished on your point, by the way, of DM's Octarine? Yeah, I was saying that uh, they should try to look towards getting into a timing where the Abaddon and the Phoenix are grouping up together. So I would prefer the Barrier to go for team items, you know, the Pipe, the Crimson Guard, the Greaves. The Auras. Know. Yeah, the, the Auras. ones. Well, yeah, we'll the see. boring ones. We'll see what happens here. Is they're going to try and get through Monet. Nice cookie. Does buy a little bit more time. And now Sumail turning with the kisses. Oh, good disruption to interrupt the kisses from connecting. 
and finding that kill as Yuragi will be able to put down Baboka. There's no Supernova here, but they might not need it as Mune just barely escaping. He's got cooldowns here. Disseminate in three. Another Flame Break will connect, and that should be enough damage unless he hides out in the Disseminate. Mune running for his life. The Resident Pull Shield, not enough, and he's taken down eventually by DM. Yeah, that's how strong OG are. Uh... The, the ABBA, he had 3.2k in the bank and he's still coming to the fight running in first. And that shows you how confident they are with their lineup, you know. They know that uh, their lineup is really strong, the ABBA and the egg behind. It's really difficult for Aster to fight at this stage. What's the item that turns around? Perhaps Blink Dagger for X success? I mean, I've already highlighted concerns with yep. that into an ABBA, but... Blink, maybe... Maybe this Manta like, style on Monet? Solar Crest Greaves okay. on the supports. I think the supports need to get some team items so that uh, when it comes to the 5-on-5 five five clashes, they have uh, a lot more durability and sustain. So male Cookie. Ooh, out in time is DM though. Okay. To find and, and reach For the there. Void Spirit, the Manta is going to be important so you can remove uh, the bar, the annoying stuff on you the flame break the sticky napalm the fire spirits stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah fire spirits is a big one plus just more damage right more stats equals more damage he's quickly building up towards that og though starting to hit a couple of their timings as well there's bzm now with that desolator well, completed DM is gonna find a techies that he is uh, pulled back last one on the ground both nice. giving chase nice interrupt there waiting for the blast off to start Game rewarded with that for a kill. Assume male nearly dying there off the desolator. Might still be in for a rough time here. As yeah, BZM will cleave right through him. You may be universal, but where's your armor? Uh, Monet though, fighting into BZM. There is still, of course, those refraction charges online. So kind of a difficult fight for the carry void spirit to take at this stage. And unwilling to give two more deso charges to the TA, will back off. Uh, they have to try to stabilize the game. Keep calm, farm their uh, items. No ways, now, <laughs> now they have a blink on Magnus. Yeah, Taiga did do a good job of just being annoying there in general. Blink on Mag, scouted immediately by Taiga, so shouldn't come as a surprise to the side of OG. DM, nice hit there on the flame break. Yeah, they have to try to utilize the Mortimus case with the RP and get something going on for, for that team, you know. One kill is fine too, get a pick off, keep farming, keep scaling. This needs to pay off for them right now with the blink on the Magnus. Blink on the Magus, Magnus, pardon me, but here they go down bottom now, smoking as three. Problem is, Winter, there's Juragi down here and uh, there's that's Seb. Not, that's probably not the hero you want. <laughs> I, maybe if you catch them both, you can force the ultimate early as the Sticky Bomb chasing and finding nothing ultimately. Yep, and mm -hmm. once again. The Phoenix is gonna show. Taiga sees Hero's bot, they smoke bot, so immediately goes up, push out, pushes out top. That's how you should play the dead lane as Phoenix. I think the other player that reminds me of being really good at doing this is a uh, uh, Quest Kaori. He's also a Phoenix spammer, right, and he Kyrie. does yeah. yeah he does this really well. Mr. you know, still finding farm on their cores thanks to the buff, but it does feel like the Snapfire mid does feel a little bit lackluster when you aren't able to kind of pop off in these fights and just use, you know, your experience advantage to really punish with your spells. It's just um, hard, you know, because OG, their lineup, they're strong right now with yeah. the Abba plus Phoenix, you know. Like you, you can't really fight into it until you have Blink on the Magnus, which is just like one minute ago. So they are not really able to utilize the Mortimer's Kiss into a full effect. But right now, they do have the dagger on, so I feel like uh, they should definitely try to smoke up, maybe get a kill. Even on the bat, it's fine. Right? Just kill somebody yeah. with the combo, buy time, keep farming. Like Every pickoff they get at this stage is going to give them like at least 2 minutes of farming time, which is going to be so beneficial, especially when they have Empower. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking, right? Just even removing a bit of space on the map, uh, that OG, so that OG are not farming as efficiently, may end up being uh, good for you down the line here. I mean, BZM really starting to hasten the pace now as well, isn't he? Uh, into the BKB and next for him, but he's yeah, starting he's, to really pack a punch. It's gonna be really painful, and the Boy Spirit actually has chosen Ghost MS Cape as a neutral item. That's a oh. pretty interesting one. 
It's good against the TA. It is and good against the TA. And who knows, maybe it makes a bit of a difference against an ABBA, you know? He misses his first Curse of a Furnace ah, attack. Yeah, that could be useful. You know? I mean, very, very niche, but that's, I feel like, what neutrals do in any Time case. Time to they fight! Try and get through RP. They're pushing him away from Yuragin, but no, he still actually gets off the Supernova. Not going to matter, though, as they kill the Sun nearly immediately. Yuragi now out of mana, but still having plenty of HP to fight with. Sumail with the Kisses now, raining back down onto Seb. Needs one more and connects all of them there for the kill. The root onto Yuragi, who's still holding on to his borrowed time. OG still not quite done with this fight yet, though. BZM can blink through thanks to, of course, the refraction damaging uh, or stopping the Plague Ward from damaging and canceling the blink. Yuragi also able to continue without being forced to use the borrowed time. Aster might be in danger of overextending here, but are quite eager to chase. Monet pushed back. That's disseminate forced out for him as Sumail back over to the river, kicks things back off now onto DM, but no, oh, no, 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 nice RP. RP onto two into the cookie stun as well. Yuragi healed to full HP, but the stuns, the lockdowns too darn good. That's DM dead. Can they get through BZM next? It looks all but certain as Monet rejoins the fight at the tail end for a quick and sexy double kill. What a fight from Aster. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's what Techies does to you. You think <laughs> you're gonna win a fight, but no, he comes in, destroys all your hope and all your and all your team until you have nothing. And they didn't have anything left. I mean so quickly dismantling that supernova there. So oh, yeah, it's not so, a chance so, so, so to fire. So yeah. was the MVP in the early portion of the fight. He killed the egg and he killed the SD with the kiss. Yeah, just absolutely perfect here. And again, I think this is where OG you know, it's their strength, but also can be, as many things are, a double-edged sword for them where they're so aggressive and they just have such a great pulse on a lot of these fights in order to get that plus one kill, that extra kill, and really, you know, squeeze every single bit of efficiency out of the early game. But just overextending there and end up getting punished with how close they ended up getting to that Kaiba. two tower. I think he's fine. Oh, maybe not, actually. He's still got Sunray to go off the map. Sumail is here. Oh, you do no. not run twice. <laughs> From the no, king. you do not, and you don't. You certainly do not use Supernova here, right? I mean, that is Kiss is committed, but Taiga, yeah, okay, he's gonna have to just go down. <laughs> Road of Athos and Manta on a step fight. <laughs> <laughs> what are man? Universal heroes. What a what a meta we are in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more fight. They're gonna smoke towards the Twin Gate. This could be Roche if they get this fight as well, honestly. I mean, Phoenix is dead. Are they going to go in without the Phoenix? It looks like OG not too willing to completely acquiesce control over this bottom side of the map. Aster looking for the fight now. They are going to be able to at least connect onto Seb. Oh, and he just used the disruption as well. So he didn't have it available. XXS though, dying in the river. Oh, no, nice cookie. The RP off. Oh, the cookie almost saving his life. RP committed, but Yuragi back to full HP. Now the yep. fight here resetting here, Saiga. Winter. They're eager to still fight in DM. Does not have Lasso. They have plenty of damage. And Mane's on in. They have a Supernova, but no power of time here. So these kisses might be lethal to Yuragi if they can just connect onto more of them. But Sumail, just not enough damage on those things. Oh, and now it's going to be PQ in. going down as well. DM looking for more. No Lasso on him. Might not need it as Sumail is going to at least be covered by the Aether Remnant. OG winning that fight. Could it be a Roche for them already? I mean, you have Desto and Double Meld, of course. I think they're going to go for it. Yeah, this is their time. There's no Kiss, there's no RP. Nothing yeah. much Raiden can do. Okay, he's going to pick up a Haste. But Roche is being taken in the meantime. Do you give it to the... Yeah, I guess you give it to the TA. Yeah. How about as an idiot? I agree. I think Abba, your borrowed, your Curse of Avernus, sorry, your borrowed time, I mean, is your Aegis. If you don't have that, then what's the point? I think I think it's much better suited on BZM, especially with how aggressive I think he wants to be in this kind of a game. Uh, and with the backing of an Aegis, you know, the five second uh, countdown can, can really be a good opportunity to turn a fight. Like you lay down a Supernova, you cover him with an Abba, right? Like it's a great turning point on these fights, but you do have to be a little bit careful here. Mune. Oh, that's a Ag Shard now online for the Templar Assassin. You can see those TA traps now applying a silence. Yeah. Plenty of silences, but uh, the Manta style completed for Mune. And uh, Sumail, not to be outdone, also has his completed too. So that's two of them, huh? 
I need to wait for the Lincolns. I think they need Lincolns on the Void Spirit so he can go in and not be afraid of uh, either the, the Lasso or the Purge. Right. Yeah, good point. If he goes Mr. late, Pumman. if he goes late game, I think Astor's lineup is actually no slouch. Even Maybe though they are playing against uh, Abba and Phoenix, like the RP, like when you're defending high ground, RP right. is healed in, and you have Void kisses. Spirit. Yeah, I mean, Techies minds even. It's, and then late, not... late game snap fire with the talent. <laughs> I mean, Winter, we we've seen uh, a Techies eggs, you know, change the outcome of a game before, haven't we? Are you talking about the Monkey King jumping? Yes, I, of course I'm talking about the Monkey King. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm talking about the Monkey King. What is Baboka? What are you doing being all sneaky over here? Is he just sapping experience? <laughs> I suppose it's not a not a terrible move from him. They might be able to collapse here onto Taiga. He's been doing a pretty good job of playing the dead lane, but might end up getting caught here. Doesn't look like anyone was, was watching that Lotus pool, though. Yeah, I like that he's queuing up a Hex. Like, I, I feel like that's probably one of the best items Phoenix can buy, apart from uh, Refresher late game. Mm. Like, Phoenix itself is like a super team fight hero, right? So when the opponents can't out team fight you, what are they gonna do? They're gonna split push, right? So you get a Hex when you are in control of the game as Phoenix. So that's gonna allow you to pick them off and eventually force them to fight into you. I like it. I like it. That's Egg Shard now for Baboka. And I, uh, the reason I bring it up, Winter, is because it's a pretty good one against these range cores, isn't it? It does give it a lot more survivability, especially against the TA. It's the same kind of thinking why uh, perhaps uh, Monet took the Gossamer Cape. Careful, though. Taiga might be in for a rough time. Nice job using the Manta style to set up for your own cookie. That's a stylish kill there for Sumail. I liked that. Only fit for a king. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Style fit for a king. He's uh Oh he also has close. the cape. Yeah, he does, the Gossamer Cape. That's uh two I believe for his side. Oh he's actually so quick with the Yasha and the cape and the travel. <laughs> <laughs> so not used to uh, a snap fire running around so quickly. Yeah man, Mortimer, you know, he can be a little speedy boy as well when he's properly motivated. Yeah, I think now you just try to drag the game and get your late game items, your talent. Level 20, you got your little shredder uses your attack. Yep, and 25, you get the multi shot. Then you get a Daedalus online. Oh, that's the dream, man. And then you get Refresher for a 12 second cooldown ability to completely mop in team fights. I mean, it's, uh, it's ridiculous, but highly effective. <laughs> it only needs time, you know? And I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of time in this game. Let him cook. Sumail, Emperor Sumail, he's cooking a, a hundred year pepper stew, you know? And if that thing stews, oh boy, it'll be How too good. How dare you? Uh, you let the Emperor cook his own food? <laughs> <laughs> let him cook, Winter, let him cook. Seb, credit Get him a cook. <laughs> Not let him cook, get him a cook. Somewhat redraft, get an alchemist and gift him an Ag Scepter stat. <laughs> stat. <laughs> this man. He needs his items. That's uh, load. Or sorry, that's Manta style number three, I believe. This game, Winter. I don't think we're gonna be seeing any more. I'd be surprised. No, just kidding. We're gonna see one more. XXS is also building a Manta style. <laughs> so we're <laughs> so gonna have three Manta styles. It's almost to the point where like OG are gonna have troubles against these illusions. <laughs> Careful though, OG. Ooh, smoke does break there. The TP out in time is it seems like Aster are gonna be able to get, get out of the way of this one. Is Manta then the best item right now? <laughs> I mean, it is if you ask Aster. It is if you're a universal hero, apparently. Wow, this Snapfire is incredibly fast. You're right. A little Mortimer really chugging on his legs. I wonder if he just moved fast enough. Do you just go into the haste animation? Or you just start running on your two hind legs? That'd be terrifying. Truly a, a, a battle steed suit for a, suited for a king. Yeah, I can't wait for him to gobble up his subjects and throw them into battle. 
Show the Benoit. Oh, whoa, they're just gonna go straight in for DM. Okay, Sunray healing is not nearly enough. Oh, goodness, and Yuragi, he's in deep as well here. XSS, though, the damage is immense. Taiga able to at least get off the Supernova, but the King immediately scrambling that egg. BZM, DD, and BKB activated. Is still willing to fight, but Tumail back on in, and that damage! What was that? Res respect the, the King. You do not run in and try to kill the king just like that alone. <laughs> Who do you think you are, BZM? You fool. The royal, the royal guard coming in to assist the king there after the assassin made his way into his bed chambers. Unbelievable. He, he died in like two seconds. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's that 50 talent being put to good use there by Sumail. And then as soon as BKB and DD end, let's see here. Caught by the Aether Remnant, no refraction charges, and that's it. Goodbye, son. Deleted. <laughs> what in the world was that? And that's your carry, by the way. <laughs> the richest hero on your team dying in two seconds. <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, they even have, like, the Gaben item here. They have Enchanted Quiver as well for the Templar Assassin. That shouldn't be happening. It she does, should be able to it burst doesn't through these matter. You can have a thousand damage, but it doesn't matter if you die in two seconds. That's right. Especially when you're just stunned throughout the whole thing. Sue Mail, no. The part of me with even more stats has the Lincolns online. I mean, this is just. This is ridiculous. Right, this, this hero is going to be my go to pick in my pups when I'm forced to play mid. Yeah, actually, I, I like that line of thinking. Oh, Yuragi getting a bit aggressive here. Oh, but it's Taiga who might be in for a rough time. DM at least able to find the lasso. Taiga still alive as they have good damage here on Monet. Does not have a purge available for him quite yet. Uh, it's going to be the disruption saving Taiga for now, but Monet slices in to secure the kill. It's at least a one for one and an advantage trade now for OG as they have taken down the Magnus. Yuragi, though, forced to pop the borrow time here. So Aster still fighting with a little bit of an advantage here should they look to continue pushing. Seems like they'll be happy with that. Go yeah, that's the, reset. the gong of retreat when Abaddon pops his ulti. Dong! Oh, hey, guys. My ulti is popped. Let's right. chill. Oh, Monet. Monet. Yeah, he's got a gem of true sight. And there's absolutely he just no solo killed him? Said. What yep. the hell? <laughs> I mean, look, he's got 300 plus 20 damage. There's absolutely no way he doesn't yeah, kill him. He, did that, Echo he did that without Empower. Oh, goodness. Sumail, he's running in. Little Shredder uses your attack damage without even any crits. Goodbye to DM. His OG just being picked apart there after kind of coming out even after that fight. Is Look there any that. winning universal lineup in late game? <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> Maybe this is the new three carry strategy. Five universal hero. Like, they push so fast as well. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. It really is. Makes me laugh, Windsor. These kinds of strats and I mean, look, 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 look at that. You compare the Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon and Venom, they're both the supports, right? They're both level 16. The Venom has 140 damage. Yeah. The Shadow Demon has 110. Like, just based on stats alone, he gets 30 extra damage. Yeah, I mean, they are the same level, so it's kind of a, a fair comparison. That's Borrowed Time activated inside uh, of the Disruption. It still allows Yuragi to blink away. You don't take damage during uh, Disruption, so you can just always blink away. The thing to remember about the new blink change, though, that is going to mess with maybe some Abacore players, all three of them out there, is that whenever you take damage now, your Dyer's blink dagger is muted, so uh, you might not be able to blink away, For but Borrow Time should still cover you. But yeah, nice retreat there from OG, but like when, when Winter, if at all, will OG be able to take a fight? Is it high ground? Is, is high ground going to be there? I mean, if you're not taking uh, the fight at high ground, then might as well call GG. That's a good point. Maybe Roshan, though, could be the next opportunity for OG. I, I, I just have the feeling that the longer the game goes, you're not winning against the Universal Heroes, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, they have pretty strong late game. Bad Riders, very strong. Insane late game, you know. You have Abaddon and Phoenix, they're also really insane. But this five man universe, okay, four man universal lineup is gonna. What do you mean? Is oh, it not okay, five? five. Yeah, five. It is Good. Five. Come on. I'm tripping, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, winter after dark, ladies and gentlemen, and OG, unfortunately, lights out for them here, at least for this Roche fight, is Aster. Aren't be able to, to take that down oh. with ease. Daedalus oh. gonna come soon on Snapfire. Can't wait. And then just wait for that 25 talent as well. Monet does, you know, use an Astral Step charge there. 
to take down some illusions. Okay, Yuragi jumping in with more illusions. Taunted up, though. Did not find the silence he was looking for. Sumail sitting back now, ready to counter-initiate as Borrowed Time already forced out here. Skewer does not catch anyone as there's going to be now at least Demonic Purge slowing down the Magnus to a crawl. OG looking to retreat behind once again, as you called it, Winter. The Gong of Retreat. Yeah, you do not fight when the gong is sounded. <laughs> you back. You back. Unless you're hearing the gong of Gondor, the hound of Gondor. It means you run in. That's the, the drums of Slom, I presume. That's, that's right, the drums of Slom. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. And I mean, for OG, it, it's just got to come on this high ground defense. Borrowed time... Fortunately, has very little cooldown, especially with... Uh, yeah, you, you can just spam disruption on the uh, abandoned illusions and just make yeah. your own abandoned army. <laughs> That's right. Especially with, of, of course, all the Manta oh, styles that we're seeing. It's going Scardy on the abandoned. I just... Winter, is, is, it just really a little... a good, is it really a good idea to go Scardy? Just stats, I guess. The life steal uh, or the heal I mean, don't you want well. don't, don't you want to go AC? Yeah, you need armor. I would think so. Shiva, AC, I feel like those are fairly good options. Yuragi also taking a lot of magic damage, I have to say. His last last death part of me uh, took 1k from the techies alone. So maybe that's also a consideration here. We'll see. Aster, this might be a, a killing blow, a knockout punch. They're going to smoke up now, see what they can find as Monet. So swing and a miss there on the Aether Remnant and everyone TPing out nope. around him here. Nobody's going to get knocked out with that. It's a miss. It's a miss. Swinging a miss, the uppercut miss. Tiger though, may not be as lucky. The Gem of True Sight's on Monet. Whoa, what, what the hell? Come what? On, that's, that's not right. I mean, Tiger, good. You deserve okay, that to is right. That he one. deserved to get TPR. Yeah, he deserved <laughs> That was ridiculous. Can we get a replay of that real quick? That just did not look right there on that harpoon. I mean, poor Phoenix. How far is that range? I think it's just, it'll always connect no matter what. Like, as long as you actually cast it, as long as it, because obviously, yeah, look, Icarus Type does not disjoint. Oh, it's a little bit late. The Markin, we didn't quite catch it on that replay. But that's okay. I mean, he just started Icarus diving away, and that was that. The Magnus, you know, once you're on the hook, you're on the hook, man. Life and lesson for you right there. Nothing you can do. Yeah, tell me more about how am I hooked onto my wife right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good thing, Winter. It's a, it's, that's a positive thing, right? There it is. See? He's, <laughs> he's speechless. That's how. That's how much. Absolutely speechless. I'm just trying not to wake her up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll really be on the hook for now. We'll see if uh, Aster are going to give you the opportunity to do just that. Because OG, not really calling out of this one yet. And, and for good reason. I think this high ground is set definitely holdable. It's going to get scarier and scarier. I mean, you, you talk about how <laughs> Manta style is the balanced item, you know, to really show you all three cores buying Manta. Two of them, the melee ones at least. Whoa, what Wait, was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. That, what that the... did not look right. I don't think XSS was quite ready for that one either. DM pops the BKB, looking for a lasso to some at least, is at least going to save Monet for now. Okay, disengage. Yuragi did pop that borrow time though, Monet. Looking for a, a wave back on it. It's BZM pops the BKB. That's an RP and a steward into the techies mind. Yuragi deleted, has buyback. Might have to use it on this high ground defense because that's two dead already with Seb taken down to mail with both kills here. After the fight, starting off awkwardly, still goes the way towards Aster. I mean, they, they have to use the buybacks. If they want to defend the Rex, are they going to give up the Rex just like that? Maybe it's the rest move. I mean, they still have another 4 to 5. I'm back in 50. I'm just like, I, yeah, I don't see really what stops Aster. They could look for more, especially as Monet can jump in very aggressively with the cover of that Aegis. Techie's like mind going off. And, They're just going to give up two lanes. Yeah. Failing to get the kill, they will look for two lanes. Fortify is out. That's the last one OG are going to get until it comes back with time. Once again, that looked a little bit weird. Harpoon didn't maybe quite connect. I'm not sure. That's say just now being reclaimed. Your Abba's back in 20, but it does look like two lanes at the moment here, Winter. 
OG looking for an opportunity to present itself. Aster fighting without a lot of their ultimates, but OG without two of their heroes means that they're just not going to be able to muster defense. That's two lanes. Just like that. So they are choosing to preserve their buybacks over the racks. You know? I'm not sure if that's the right call. Like one lane of racks, I can understand, but two lanes, it's a bit of a stretch for me. Well, you, you save the buyback here. I mean, what's that going to get Yuragi? Maybe closer to the Scotty? Is it just because you don't like this eye of Scotty? I would buy AC. I feel like they need armor. Like, it will help in the team fights. I, I, I don't know if Scotty is going to win them the team fight. Like, it allows you to kind of stick towards the, I guess, the, the Magnus or the Snapfire. But you already have your slow because of the awareness. So I'm not sure if you need more slow. I think you're gonna need some way to stop Sumail from triple firing you to death here quite shortly. Look at that, even DM half HP. They can't even kill Boboka in one, one pull. Okay, Kiss is now coming down, Demonic Purge, that auto attack's not enough either, and now the RP, they have managed to catch at least PZM XXS with a nice skewer on back, Seb's still gonna fall at the hands of Sumail, beyond godlike here as OG retreating, beaten and bloodied, they at least get through Baboka, but that's gonna be a second support now taken down, as XXS skewering himself in, he might actually pay oh, for that one, has a cheese, the damage. will be able to eat it, but now, oh my goodness, Yuragi, no more borrow time here, okay, procked it now, kill at least onto XXS, as it's good BZM trying to find Cleave off of these kills, but he's jumped now by Monet and killed off a minute and a half without the buyback, Winter. Oh, Snapfire's level 25. GG. Yep. Double Daedalus level 25. Double oh day. my god. Uh, <laughs> yep. He's going to have fun with this one, Sumail, with the tip on the Monet. It's a two team effort here. It's a whole team effort, really, from Aster. Oh. And. Uh, Really, I mean, holy... Don't end the game. Just let everybody on OG respawn I, I, and take a 5v5 with Su level 25. Sumail is trying to figure out a way to communicate. Let me get them all with Will Shredder. <laughs> He's saying, don't end. He's saying, no, 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 back. I think you just... If you get a crit, you probably almost one-shot the SD. You know what's crazy as well is you can kill Abba now through his borrowed time, which is probably why Yuragi is... Uh, is, is proccing it early. Sorry. What I mean to say is you can kill ABBA without him being able to proc borrow time automatically. Because this ability only works if ABBA falls below 400 HP. But if he is killed in a crit, say, from 1,000 damage from 500 to 0, borrow time is not going to save you. So that's, like, very axe. problematic. That's like Axe cutting blade. Yeah, exactly. Except Axe can call through borrow time, so not the perfect example, but I get what you mean. <laughs> okay, shit. <laughs> it's more just like... I mean, it's late. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Winter. Pull it together. We got two more days of this. We got two more days of excellent Dream League. Season 19, Dota. And maybe two? one more fight Three. in this one for Three OG. Three more days. You yeah, can't count. Like three more days of group stage, Winter. Come on, That's give, okay, it, give, give it to I, us. Yeah, give it to us. You. you can't yeah, count. Yeah, we all either. can't count. Just give it to us. I want to see Sumel blinking in the middle of the fight. Ah, uh, it's ready. <laughs> it's time. OG, we'll see what they can pull here, but uh, <laughs> we might get to see some heroes just absolutely deleted. Man is throwing out yeah. uh, the Venus, the bait. auto attacks. Look at this. Let's he's, go. Sitting so, he's sitting so far back <laughs> just because he really, he's desperate to get this off. <laughs> oh, Aster. The, th the the length no, that they need to empower to him. Empower him. They empower. do need to empower him. Go empower him. Look at his position. Here. Come he on, sitting. dude. Empower he the looks, emperor. He looks like a support right now. Okay, there they go. They're gonna try and find the silence onto what? Oh, the damage. Okay. All right. Yuragi, that, that was not Steel impressive. Did not proc the borrow time. Didn't find the triple there either. But the disarm now onto Yuragi with the kisses coming down. There's borrow time now. Proc is Yuragi beating into the Venomancer. A kill here, and that's an advantage now for OG. There's no buyback there. Oh my goodness, Sumail just deleted Tiger. He didn't have stand a chance. Quick bash there on Exorcist. That sets up DM. Could this maybe be the fight that OG need? The fight that they're looking for. The break. Yuragi without borrow time, saved at least by the disruption as the rest of OG sitting behind the Roche Pit. Monet collecting onto all of them. Is that another little shredder there? Sumail with another kill onto Yuragi, being beeped down though by BZM, and there's no buyback there on the Emperor, but no heroes on the side of OG with buyback either. DM able to sneak away.
with the team fight punishing here. As <laughs> actually, okay, Sunel did just get buyback. He's back <laughs> in, looking to end the game here on this Aegis. What in the world? What a fight! You killed the Emperor, but at what cost, OG? At what cost? And the now the Emperor is... has Aegis. Can you kill him twice? The cost of his buyback. I mean, you kill him once, that might just be enough. The problem is, you're operating here uh, rather slim, Winter, on the buybacks. Everyone bought out Empower for that one. Empower him, please. Oh, I'm getting tilted. I'm getting triggered <laughs> by that. It's because Sumail doesn't know the word for empower. That's just, why. Just ping. Ping and power. <laughs> you don't need to know the word. <laughs> buffo, buffo, buffo. That's what they say, uh, buffo. Uh, you got you to gotta teach Sumail that. Maybe if we get the interview with him, you'll be able to uh, teach him a couple of phrases here that are key. <laughs> yeah, give him some Mandarin lessons here. Yeah, give him a lesson. And then he'll tell me it didn't work. Uh, then, oh, it's probably because of the SEA Mandarin is different. What? What, what, what? in the world? What was that? No, Seb needs a... <laughs> Seb needs to refund. Something is broken with this harpoon. They need to get that one checked out, honestly. The admins need to investigate that harpoon. That is not right. That is not standard issue harpoon equipment. Yuragi falling low here, desperate to not use the borrow time, but he's going to be forced into it. That's at least a somewhat successful supernova until, of course, the Emperor lays into it with the little shredder. All right, OG, what do you got left against to stand here? Aster pushing for the win now. Yuragi without a bar with time and the damage is just immense. Sumail with a double kill. BZM able to get back into the fountain before he's RP'd and pulled back out. Monet dishing in the damage and just the right clicks from Sumail might put him in. Into the fountain goes OXSS, but he's a he okay. Another little shredder there. The cookie not finding a stun onto DM as into the fountain goes Sumail. GG is going to be called. Can he get one more kill? The little shredder is good enough for the ultra kill, but no ramp for the Emperor as the game finishes off a two